at the end of the tunnel yet. Uh, the war is not yet over. We need to continue to remain uh, vigilant. Even now, we still have a very limited knowledge about the virus. From now till perhaps one year, maybe one and a half years from now, I don't expect major changes. We will largely still be in the midst of a pandemic. Because even if the majority of people in Singapore are vaccinated, it's impossible for the world to be vaccinated by this year. Over a four-year time frame, five years, who knows exactly when, but at some point the pandemic will pass. Surely, no pandemic is forever. Either the world gets vaccinated and achieves herd immunity, or the virus attenuates and it's no longer as deadly. How long that will take, I don't know but it's not going to be within a year. Of course, the biggest decision was the circuit breaker and how we arrive at the, uh, the timing of the circuit breaker. If you do it too soon, it's not going to be effective. If you do it too late, uh, it's also not going to help because you would have already have a big cluster in your hands. So we have to persuade the cabinet, persuade PM, so this is a time that we need to move and we need to move in a quite a decisive way uh, because the worst is to have a, a half measured circuit breaker then we would have gone through the difficulty but yet it's not going to be effective the spread of communicating to the public the necessity for the measures amidst this whole environment where it's so easy for people to get caught up in the latest mood, whatever that mood is, is extremely challenging. We all know that the mood shifts quite quickly and is quite volatile. Yes, we certainly have to take into account public opinion and feedback, but it ultimately has to be based on scientific evidence, data, expert opinion, and then to explain that to the public and get support for the measures. I think that's, that's to me, one of the biggest challenges so far. We knew that the decision to go into a circuit breaker is a difficult one, but how to emerge from circuit breaker is an even tougher one. The whole idea of phase three is to allow us to achieve a more or less sustainable steady state situation while waiting for vaccine to be propagated or for the world's uh, uh, infection to come down before we are able to revert more or less to normal. That will take some time because it's not just Singapore, it's the rest of the world. So it's not so easy for us to uh, just simply open up. Even after we have all been vaccinated, international traveling could still be challenging because other countries may not be opening. So in terms of international traveling, is something that we need to look at what the rest of the world is, uh, is doing and what's happening in the overall global landscape before we're able to make uh, major changes. There are certainly many things we can do better if you look back. At the start of the year when we were fighting this virus, there are so much uncertainty, so many things we didn't know about the virus. We didn't know about the asymptomatic nature of transmission. We didn't know how infectious it was. There was a lot of unknown. And clearly, if we have a better picture, then we'll have taken different measures. After all this is over, we, as we have promised, we will do a full review, really to look at how our processes, our systems can be improved, because we know that there will be future pandemics. And just as we have learned from SARS, we have improved our system. After COVID-19, we want to learn from this experience to uh, do even better and be better prepared for the next pandemic and for disease X in the future. Today, our number of cases are low. So some may have the misperception that it's quite safe, so it really doesn't matter. You don't really need a vaccine. But you must remember that the rest of the world is still burning up. You still have uh, new cases every day and new records being set uh, almost uh, every other day. So it is important for us to remain vigilant and to prepare ourselves so that we are able to withstand new waves of infection. 
our philosophy in rolling out the vaccination is to push out whatever supplies or vaccines we get as soon as possible. So for those who choose not to take up, it's your choice. But we will roll out and push out the vaccines regardless. And if you want to wait, you must accept the consequence that perhaps if you wait later, if the vaccine supply has been taken up and you want to take it up later on, you may not have the ready supply. I'm hoping that some of the positive changes that we have made in terms of our public hygiene, personal hygiene, these habits, I hope they will last beyond just this uh, pandemic. You have to be always be vigilant that the next pandemic is just a short uh, a distance away. So we must always be ready that it could happen anytime. And therefore, some of these uh, good habits that we have developed, uh, we should try to maintain, try to uh, keep them so that uh, it forms some form of uh, natural protection for ourselves. So I think in time to come, some of these uh, precautionary measures may become the norm.